Hello YouTubers and welcome to my channel. Today I am proud to announce the new InfraDroid OS. This is by far the baddest system on the market. And I am so happy to announce that now everything from the Nvidia Shield, the phone and your tablet is all combined into one full Android experience. So definitely stay tuned, watch the entire video while I go over the new InfraDroid OS. Welcome back YouTubers. Right now I'm going to try to start setting up the remotes. I'm going to forget about this one too. Holding down the center button like it says on the menu. Voila, that's how easy it is. Now I'm going to set up the new joystick. I'm holding down the center button. And last, let's set up the old controller. And voila. I just set up three, two remote, one remote and two controllers. Also, I'm using the remote right now. I'm pressing the mic. Who is the president? Oh, got to hold it. Who is the president? The president of the United States of America, Donald Trump. And there you have it. No more need for a webcam and a mic. Now let's start going through some settings. Uh, network, I really don't have to cover network. We have the display, the resolution, volume settings, got advanced settings. And this is what I definitely like. To see this actually better, what I'm gonna do is take this off. I'm going to get rid of the bottom. There you go. So now you can adjust your screen size. We had a lot of problems like that in the past. Oh, and you have your 5.1 audio fixture of volume settings. The system, you can't see this right now, but you can turn the LED um, little V-shape uh, light on top of your unit. You can cut it on low, medium, or high. Oops. Backed up too many times. You can go in your apps right here. It takes a second. I have a lot of apps on here, so it's looking, searching for all of them, as you can see. Um... Uh, Reset stuff, we only go into that. Screensaver, start now. Yep, you got the Chromecast built in. It'll constantly pull pictures off the internet and view them, just use this as like a screensaver kind of thing. Go to sleep. Uh, Chromecast. version you can rename your system if you wanted to power off and on uh, date and time languages somebody might want to see that keyboard you can do your keyboard settings right in here search features uh, accessibility Oh, this is what I want to show you. Now right here, you can actually add more accessories in, but I'm going to show you a better way of doing this if you have something that's not an uh, NVIDIA Shield device. 
like my uh, Amazon TV remote. I have that. Um, it's Bluetooth and I should set that up. But check this out. Now I have three, I have one remote hooked up, two controllers. On my remote, I purposely didn't update it yet, but you can actually update the firmware. Now look at that. That is the exact same look um, setup. Continue. And as you see here now, we're actually updated to version 1.06. This came directly from NVIDIA themselves. Each time they push out a new update to their NVIDIA Shield TVs, well, this is the NVIDIA Shield TV, and because everything from stock is now integrated into InfraDroid OS, each time NVIDIA pushes out a new update for their con remotes or their controllers, you go get the updates as well right in here. You can also rename your controllers and you don't even have to use a keyboard and mouse. What you can do is you can download virtual keyboards, which I don't understand why you would want that, but you can do that if you want to. But I actually like the Google voice typing. Android TV remote. And that was actually picked up on the um, Nvidia Shield remote control. I mean, actually, yeah, remote. And it was actually sitting next to me and it actually heard my voice. And as you can see, it's now been renamed and I renamed it by voice. And now I'm going to actually just put this back to default. Also, there was something else that I missed. Network storage. Right here is my desktop PC and it's picking it up and I can actually use that as a as we a quote like a USB thumb drive and you can actually put in pictures, movies, um, APK files that you want to, want to transfer over and you can access it just like you would any other USB thumb drive. And it's actually, as uh, long as your computer is turned on and it has access to the folder, uh, you can basically log right in and utilize it. And that is a very cool feature. And you can also do it like over network, which is kind of the same thing. And I also have a Amazon Fire TV remote that I actually paired up using the uh, phone tablet uh, settings. And you can go right here to Bluetooth. To me, this is a lot easier to do it in here um, instead of doing it through the... Uh, NVIDIA Shield's uh, um, settings. And you can basically come up here and pair your uh, Bluetooth devices right here, whether they're uh, audio headsets or whatever you want to do. I'm not going to get too much in these uh, settings. I'm going to actually make a later video for that. But most of your main uh, settings are in this one right here, which is your, I call it your Shield TV uh, settings. And your InfraDroid OS settings is just like um, a little extra uh, settings that you can utilize in here. We can also have the full um, Play Store. Go by categories, whatever it is. It's the full Play Store. And I'm going to pick something to install. Yeah, it's look like it's free. So, oh good, it's small. So now we're going to play Wheel of Fortune. I've actually never played this before. Still installing. Okay, open. Oh, good. I forgot all about this. As you can see, this was made for a phone. Uh, it has the black on left and right side of the screen. Well, I'm going to actually... So now what I'm going to do is show you how to fix that. I use a uh, rotation. Then what we're going to do is come down here per app settings. And then we're going to scroll down to the W's wherever we get there. We have a lot of settings, a lot of stuff on here. Go to Wheel of Fortune and we're going to force the landscape. And now when we open this up, Here it is. Look at that. Full screen. 
So now we got a, we took a phone version and turned it into a full screen version. You can do this with any app that has bars on both sides of the screen. Right now we're in the GeForce Now Hub app. As you can see, we can purchase things, like I've already purchased this one. And there's this one for sale. GeForce Now, where you can stream games directly from NVIDIA's uh, servers. First month is free, and then after that it's $7.99. Exit out of there. You can also still stream games from your PC right into your living room. You just set that all up, just like you would on the stock version. And before I get into the video section, I wanted to show you all this. Um, let's go into YouTube. Oh, that's not what I wanted to do. Because we're on Nougat, we also got picture uh, side by side. And Chrome. Skip the ad. Look at that. Surf things. Pause that. Also, um, this right here is where I'm going to get more in detail about this. Let me just go back to that. I'll get more. I'll show a, a separate video for that. This is the game ROMs. These are all pre-set up. You can just download them. This is 1.5 gigabytes. I downloaded it right from their server. It took 30 minutes. And I'm actually just going to launch it real quick. Reason why I'm loading these up because these are the harder ones that um, take pull a lot of system. Look at that, just works really good. Then you can exit right out of this, go right back into it. I'm not going to show you how to download games or nothing like that, but it plays all the systems, arcade, uh, Sega Genesis, Dreamcast, Nintendo 64, PSP, and PlayStation. And everything is pre-configured and just ready to rock. And you can just click on them, hit the download button, and you're rocking. And they also have a search engine. You can type in what you want to look for. I'm just going to put something that's preloaded. Mario's. Click on those. And that's it. Go back to the home. Then I'm going to show some favorite. Well, I'm not going to show the 4K. I'm just going to show that uh, Amazon uh, Prime uh, Amazon video is working. Don't even need to sign in. But you need to sign in to watch the videos, of course. And all this is working. You got settings. I'm just going to exit out of here. And there we have it. And last but not least, this is also integrated. You can also instant replay plays. Broadcast, um, I'm going to go to settings, broadcast directly to Twitch, uh, change the quality, ultra, can't uh, stream on broadcast, so now you can put it on high. And all of that's all integrated. Everything from the stock NVIDIA Shield is integrated into InfoDroid OS. 
thank you for having me and definitely subscribe. And uh, I think I did say that you can get uh, 4K HDR and if it's a, if, if the app supports it and like uh, it and like uh, Netflix does. Um, YouTube right now, um, I'll click on it right now. YouTube right now only doesn't do 4K at the moment only because Exposed is not um, compatible with it yet. So right now we can do 1080p. Uh, once uh, Exposed is updated, I believe it's going to be updated uh, April of 2017. And that's just given a, an estimate. Uh, it could happen quicker. It could happen later. I don't know. I'm not the developer of it. But once he has that developed, I will be able to, or it'll be real simple. Just download something and your YouTube will get 4K. That easy. Um, thank you for having me and definitely subscribe and check out my other videos and I'll be definitely uploading a lot more videos comes coming soon.